many subscribers. How are you doing? For all you John Wick 4 fans, we'd like to show you this. Right, we're about to attempt the 222 steps in 27 degree heat. If John Wick can do it, we can. Wish us luck. It's a lot easier going down than it was going up, that's for sure. People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back! Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new Blu-ray hunt. Yes, it's Monday morning. I hope you enjoyed that little clip there from Lulu and Claire that they took when they were over in Paris. Uh, as you saw there, today is a big day. It is John Wick Chapter 4 day. And in a little while we're going to head out. I figured I'd do the intro a little bit different today and do it in the cinema room rather than the car but you're still going to get the receiver position oh yes baby so uh, I do have a list here of bits that are out today mostly John Wick but anyway let's take a look okay so there is the list so let's start off of course with the main one John Wick chapter four the blu-ray yeah we've got the blu-ray today uh we also have the 4K as well. Uh, oh, blimey. Uh, we also have a John Wick Chapter 4 still book, the green coloured one. Uh, this is the one I've ordered. Uh, we also have a John Wick 4 Amazon exclusive, plus a John Wick f a Chapter 4 HMV exclusive still book. We have the John Wick 4 Limited Edition, uh, comes with art cards and things like that. Plus we also have a John Wick HMV First Edition, uh, as well as uh, John Wick 1 to 4, the Blu-ray box set, and also the 4K box set. Blimey, that's a lot of John Wick. I don't know if it's really necessary to bring all that lot out. But, uh, you know, one still book would have done. <laughs> but there we go. So that's the John Wicks. Uh, we also have The Lighthouse as well. That's on 4K. And that comes from Arrow Movies. Yes. Uh, we have a film on 88 film label called Tentacles. <laughs> uh, plus also a film with Rutger Hauer uh, called wanted dead or alive because i'm a cowboy yeah i'm not going to sing anymore i promise <laughs> uh we have a family film with woody harrelson called champions that looks a barrel of laughs and we also have mission impossible one to six box sets uh both in blu-ray and 4k um so that's pretty much it there's some anime out today as well uh but uh they're the main ones so uh yeah let's go and have a look let's get out on the road today we're going over to canterbury and um i know it's going to be hot so crank up the old air conditioning but let's get on the road right okay we are over here in canterbury just went through a rainstorm on the way here very weird 
but I've just had my car washed so uh, it went into all of those little little beads and just flew off the car. So I was washing the beads on the car rather than washing the road. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, yeah, we're over here, over here, we're over here in Canterbury, so let's go to our first stop. We are going to HMV. I've got the hat on, but it's not sunny out at the moment, but I wanted to be prepared because it might be a bit of a scorcher later on. But yeah, let's go to our first stop, HMV. Oh, flippy Nora. I just drove into the car park and it was okay. I've just walked across the car park and it's absolutely crapping it down. How strange. It was raining a couple of miles away. Then it was not raining, sunny. Now I got here to the car park and it was not raining. And I got through the car park and now it's raining. Uh. Anyway, I've got me out, so at least my hair will dry. Du, 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 du. I'm thinking I'm back. <laughs> yeah, it was dry when I got here. How strange. Okay, so, he oh, here we are at Canterbury. Oh, I will put that, I think they put the banners up because they had uh, pride here, I think, over this weekend. So anyway, let's go in amongst the rain. Okay, so just through the door and I've got some flash stuff in front of me. Yes, we got some figures there, some pop vinyl figures, other figures as well. Down here, there's some Funkos. Uh, we've got flash there. And look, we've got a Batman. Let's have a look. Yeah, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Yeah, I've had some nuts earlier on. Yeah, cashew nuts. There's a t-shirt there and we also have one of those bendy figs as well. Fantastic. On to the movies. Here is the main one today. It is John Wick chapter four this is the blu-ray comes with a nice slip cover in a standard case so a 14 mil case not an american style case and we also have uh, john wick chapters one to four with a slip cover so this is all four films uh, but it comes in a, a standard size so it's going to have a couple of those swing trays inside that's pretty cool take up a, you know less shelf, space on the shelf we also have champions as well no slip cover for this one £14.99. It does look a, uh, like a barrel of laughs, so might pick that one up today. And here is some Dragon Ball Z. Uh, this is the Blu ray, and uh, this is £19.99. Pretty cool. There is also a really nice steel book. I love the design on this steel book. I'm not familiar with Dragon Ball Z or anything like that, but it's a really nice design on that steel book, and that's like just short of £25. Here's the 4K for John Wick. Uh, strange they haven't got the border along the top with the silver. They've got the, the, the title down the side there. Weird. Uh, here's the uh, steelbook. Uh, you have to get that behind the counter. And um, we also have the 4K, uh, £60 for all four films. They're still doing the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse 4K for £9.99. And uh, over here on the 4Ks, here is the, the first edition. £35 again behind the counter and also Lighthouse as well uh, from Arrow so this is the new release um, doesn't say HDR on the front I don't know if this is the Blu-ray or the 4K it's £24.99 I think it might just be the Blu-ray but it's in the 4K slot yeah whatever uh, and here we have Tentacles yeah nice cover there but a bit gory £19.99 I'm sure it's tenticular pardon uh, we also have Wanted Dead or Alive with Rutger Hauer as well. So that's pretty good. I think I've seen this, but many years ago. £12.99. Awesome. Uh, and down here as well, they've actually got the French Connection 1 or 2. And um, I was hoping they were going to have this because it's selling out everywhere. Grab it. Okay, so two pickups. One also that I was hoping they were going to have. Uh, there's a bit of a story behind it but i'll talk about that later on but uh, yeah let's go to our next stop uh let's go to cex and then british heart foundation okay so next stop british heart foundation and then uh, no first stop cex and then british heart foundation next door okay they have a few additions on the 4ks including 65 for 22 quid We've got a couple of Avengers there, that Back to the Future is still there. We have the three Creed films for £48. Labyrinth, we have a really nice Matrix Trilogy 4K box set for 25 Squidaroonies. Uh, and over here we have Star Trek Strange New Worlds 4K for £38. I'll wait for it to come down a little bit because I need the discs from the Steelbook. 
Uh, we've got some more Star Trek, uh, Star Wars there. Plus, we also have Shazam, £22 without a slip cover on that one. Some 3D ones down the bottom here, including uh, Dragon. You know, how to... What's it called? How to Save Your Dragon? I can't remember. Uh, we also have Jesse James and um, Wyatt Earp double pack for £8. It's, a, it's about the same price on, online, so you're not getting anything cheaper there. Uh, we have Beware My Brethren for £6. Okay. Uh, and over here we have Beelzebub, I think, for £8. It's a Shudder exclusive. Okay, interesting. Uh, we also have The Brother of Satan, I think that is. Uh, and over here we have Creed 3, the Blu-ray for £10. Uh, we also have some, uh, I think this is Dragon Ball Z up at the top here as well. Lots of those. And I also noticed the Dark City Director's Cut for £18. Uh, I haven't seen this film in ages, so I don't know if that's a good deal. Poltergeist 2 there for £6. And uh, what have we got over here? Over here we've got uh, Puppet Master 5 as well. And this was a bit strange. Smile, but in a green case. Yeah. Okay, so two pickups in CEX. So let's go into uh, British Art Foundation and have a look to see if they've got anything new in. Okay, as usual, I don't think I'm seeing anything new here. Some familiar titles up the top here. Look, that bloody bridesmaid still here. Yeah, and Man and the Wasp as well. Box Trolls, all the same. Okay, so picked up another two things from CEX. British Art Foundation had shit all, so uh, let's get out of the town and uh, we'll go to our next stop. Okay, so we're out of the town. We're down here at Asda. Yes, I stopped into Greg's. I got myself a lovely Oasis citrus punch. <laughs> Plus a water as well and a sandwich. Got to keep hydrated. They say stay hydrated, yes. Funny enough, when I was in um, HMV, the lights went out briefly and there was a massive clash of thunder. Holy crap, I thought all the power was going to go out. And you know what that would have meant? They couldn't operate the tills and sell anything. <laughs> yes, so uh, thankfully it didn't go out. Um, yeah, and then it was all raining. It's weird. And now it's all like blue sky and sunshine. Well, pretty much sunshine again. Uh, and the temperatures go back up again. So it's very muggy, it's very sticky. Um, I'm getting gooey in places that shouldn't be gooey. <laughs> That's painted a nice picture. Yes, right, okay, so uh, we are down here at Asda. I'm gonna go in and have a look. I'm here earlier than normal, it's quarter past 11. I'm not expecting anything to be on the shelf uh, because you know, lazy. <laughs> they just don't get around to putting stuff on, except the bank holidays, bank holidays, they put them up on the shelves about nine in the morning. Yeah, but uh, we'll have a look and see what there is and see what maybe came in last week uh, on the shelf. And uh, maybe there's a, you know, a few extra late night crap DVD DVDs, who knows? And uh, if there's any more Shawshanks on 4K. But uh, yeah, let's go in there, hang on. Because the sun is shining, so I've got to get my old cap on. Yes, fantastic. Let's get in there and uh, yeah, let's go and have a look, see what they got. I kid you not, it feels just like it was in Florida. It's the oppressive heat and the humidity and just the piercing sun burning the arms. It's like my arms are going to burst into fire. <laughs> anyway, let's go and find the bloody freezer section. Going to dunk my head in the ice cubes. Oh, just have a look at the magazines here. They've got the uh, Oppenheimer total film. I just noticed, oh dear, Empire magazine. Ahsoka, oh, that's a nice issue. It's actually golden embossed. <laughs> Even magazines are golden embossed now. That is a really nice, wow. You know the eight wonders of the world, where well, there's gotta be eight great inventions of mankind. And I know what's in the top three. One of them is air conditioning. <laughs> Thank God. Oh look, the lady's putting all the stuff out on the shelves. Okie dokie, so on the blue set, Blu-ray section is John Wick chapter 4 on the Blu-ray. Plus we also have chapters 1 to 4 on the Blu-ray as well. What else have we got here? We've got some Shazam up there. We have 65 on Blu-ray for £16. And we also have the Terrifier double pack there for 15 quid as well. 
Uh, Transformers, the five movie pack. That's pretty good. That's £25. And uh, let's have a little scour down here, see if we can find anything new. We've got some 4Ks down the bottom. These are the DVDs, so they have both of those. Uh, we also have a, a new edition, which is War of the World, The Attack. This is probably a straight to DVD or a straight to TV movie. It's probably nowhere as near as the others, as good as the others, I mean. Uh, we also have 1915, Legend of the Gurkhas. Yeah, uh, obviously cashing in on 1917, even the title looks the same. We have Champions here on DVD. And down here, look, we've got a load, load of Shawshanks in 4K. Uh, this is also a new one, uh, MK Ultra, with um, the guy from Star Trek, I forgot, Anson Mount. So yeah, pretty good, some new ones here. Okay, so out of Asda. Apologies for any hushing noise. It's the air conditioning. I'm not sitting in a car with no air conditioning. No way, Pedro. <laughs> no way. Um, nice and quiet in there today. I think everybody's buggered off to the beach. Well, the kids are at school, so that's a good thing. Um, Blu-rays and the DVDs, another great selection in there. Uh, the lady was in there. Believe it or not, I actually had a chat with her. Uh, well, I think we were chatting away for 20 minutes, having a laugh. Lovely lady. Um, if I prejudged her and, and called her lazy, then I apologise. But no, she's a lovely lady. And we were talking about the weather. We were talking about the movies and uh, the stocking of the DVDs and when she gets them and stuff like that. And why it doesn't, why they don't always go up on the shelf. And I fully understand, I fully understand everything. I'm not gonna go into details because it's quite lengthy about the distributors and uh, how long they are waiting. They stay in the stock room before getting put out and then she has a designated time to put them on the shelf. So yeah, lovely lady. So yeah, I won't be criticizing that, that, that lady again. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, I, I fully understand, I fully understand um when they go on the shelf so they go on the shelf when they go on the shelf but um other than that uh, i did pick one thing up uh, she was still putting some stuff on the shelf so uh, there was still a couple of containers full of dvds so i didn't get to see everything although she did uh, let me have a, a little browse through but it was mainly repeat stuff that was already on the shelf and she was just restocking them uh, she did say because i asked her about the shawshank redemption uh, the 4Ks that are £7 uh, and she says they've got over a hundred in the storeroom and they just keep replenishing the shelves <laughs> yes yeah, so wow I've never known anybody to have over a hundred 4Ks in the store I don't know how they got them or maybe it was an order mistake maybe they should have ordered a lot of blu-rays or dvds and somebody pressed 4k instead but uh yeah we're gonna keep seeing them on the shelves for some time to come but uh, i am done uh we are done here i was gonna go down to westwood cross to smith's toys and have a look at the transformers stuff um and i remembered that they're actually digging up down there um they're building a new well about 10 new housing estates and uh, they've got traffic lights one-way system and it took us over an hour to get out so it's going to be like an extra hour getting down there and an extra hour coming back so um i might leave it a while actually yeah they're, they're going to be they're going to be digging up for at least until the end of july so uh, i'll wait until after july before we go back down to smith's but i think that's it anyway so um i think we go back home now i don't want to stay out too late uh, too late too long uh, because it is really hot out there and um I don't want to burn myself out but i got a couple of deliveries back home so uh, we'll go and check this out uh, check those out but uh, yeah let's go home and i'll see you in the cinema room when we get back okay so these are today's pickups and deliveries so we'll go through them one by one uh before we get into them i did pick up that magazine so i picked up empire magazine with a soaker Glossy and silver and gold embossed. Yeah, so this is fantastic. Oppenheimer, a day at Nolan's HQ. Um, this is a Star Wars World exclusive. 
Sabres up as the iconic warrior finally takes centre stage. Rosario Dawson and her rebel crew reveal how they're transforming the galaxy. So that'll be fantastic. And I can feel it when you rub that, it's actually embossed. Very nice. So I shall take a gander to that later on. Also on the back, we have the full Monty, which starts in a couple of days on Disney+. Plus. So looking forward to that. Awesome. Okay, so as for the pickups, so let's start with uh, one that I got from Asda. Yes, uh, I did decide to pick this one up in the end. Uh, I saw it there a couple of weeks ago. The price had gone right down. It was three quid. Uh, and uh, it's going to be one of those really awful movies, uh, but fun, I think. I think you're probably going to be laughing at the special effects rather than the actual story. Uh, yeah, I picked up San Francisco Megaquake. Obviously, this is supposed to be a knockoff of San Andreas and stuff like that. Disaster movies. But look, it comes on uh, old Bobby Dazzler Media. Yeah, £3 for the DVD. I think originally it was probably about £7.99, then it went down to a 5 and now it's down to 3 So this is going to form part of uh, the late night crap DVD movies. Um, I don't know anybody in it. Is there anybody that I recognise? <laughs> Not a single person. Oh, apart from Billy Baldwin, if that's if that's William Baldwin, I'm not sure. Yeah, anyway, it's bound to be awful, but we'll give it a go anyway. Uh, let's have a look, see what we got inside. Uh, unfortunately, no slip cover. Not that I really care for a £3 DVD that's probably going to end up going to a charity shop afterwards. <laughs> OK, <laughs> so let's have a look. But we do, we do, of course, get some artwork, so that's nice. OK, so there we go. So that is San Francisco Mega Quake. Uh, next up, I bought two from CEX. And uh, yeah, I, haven't, I didn't actually check them, did I? I didn't actually check the discs were there. Damn. OK, so I found this one. Uh, I remember seeing this one when it came out. Not actually physically seeing it, but I remember seeing reviews and seeing it on the shelf. It's a film called Kin, uh, 2018. This was £3 for the Blu-ray. Um, is there anybody in this? It's got Zoe Kravitz and Dennis Quaid. So there's a couple of people in there, a couple of familiar faces. Uh, some things aren't meant to be found. But it does have a whole ton of special features along there as well. And uh, what really... What really surprised me on this is that it's actually got a DTS X soundtrack to it. So that'd be good because um, I haven't used my DTS X on the receiver for a long time. You know, you always get Dolby Atmos. You don't hardly ever get DTS X, but uh, definitely worth a, a go. So there we go. So there's one disc, Kin. Oh, for flipping Nora. That is. Dirty as much. Anyway, we'll give that a go. Um, what is it about? A recently released from prison, he hopes to reconnect with his younger adopted brother and a strange father, but after a run in with a vengeful cr a criminal, oh, played by James Franco, Jimmy and Eli become fugitives with one hope of survival a metallic box from another dimension that transforms them into a super, super, power, super powered weapon and leads Eli to discover his true identity in this thrilling action adventure with a sci-fi twist. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, an all-star cast and a stunning soundtrack from Mogwai. That don't make, mean anything to me. That's a gremlin, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, that's Kin. Uh, second one that I found. Oh, actually got two discs in it. Okay. Second one I found stars, what's his name, Dominic. Uh, hang on, let's take the label off. I can't remember his name. Oh, actually, that looks like it's one of those really dodgy stickers. Dominic West, Dominic West, Imelda Staunton and Rebecca Hall in The Awakening. From 2011, this was £3 as well. So it looks like it is a bit of a thriller. It kind of looking at the back of it, kind of reminded me of the Daniel Radcliffe. Um, what was it called? 
Woman in Black. Yeah. Uh, this is a post-war, post-World War One England in 1921. An author and paranormal sceptic is invited to a countryside boarding school by the headmaster to investigate rumours of an apparent haunting. But when she finds... When she thinks... What? But when she thinks... She has debunks the ghost theory. A chilling encounter makes her question all her original rational beliefs. Yeah, okay. So it could be good. Could be a little bit scary. There's the two discs. Um, it's got a DVD, which obviously don't need. I dread to think what the quality of that is. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, there's something, something icky on that DVD. Don't think that'll play. And the Blu-ray, oh God, Blu-ray's filthy as well. I thought CEX clean discs, what's about with them? <clears throat> anyway, that is Awakening. So yeah, two movies there, three pound each, give them a go. After I've cleaned them, of course, lazy gits. Okay, so that's those two. Uh, next up is one of the big releases of the week. Uh, this is the collector's edition. This is Champions. Uh, with uh, Woody Harrelson. It's a film by Bobby Farrelly. Uh, directed by Bobby Farrelly as well. Every dream team starts somewhere. So it's a heartwarming story of a former minor league basketball coach who after a series of mis mishaps or missteps is ordered by the court to manage a team of players with intellectual disabilities. Sounds fun. Sounds like they're going to get up to a bit of mayhem. Yeah. Uh, it's got some uh, bonus features along there as well, including 12 hilarious deleted scenes. Fantastic. Right, OK, so let's have a look at this one. Uh, uh, oh, God, blimey. I don't think I can get it undone. They're making it harder to get these plastic wraps off. that off yeah so there we go champions 124 minutes one disc uh, we do have some artwork on the disc that's pretty good fabulous so that's champions all right next up next up um I figured that I'd get this one uh, because with the recent news that streaming services are tampering with movies again, they've actually deleted some of the dialogue in this film. Um, and I think they've just completely deleted it. They haven't restored it or put an apology or anything. They didn't tell people they were going to remove it and delete stuff. They just did it. So, um, yeah, it's the French Connection. Uh, this is a two pack. Um, both movies one and two I've never seen any of them I figured I'd pick it up now while I can this has been selling for over a hundred dollars in America on eBay sold out on Amazon and all places um, I think even Amazon UK is sold out now HMV still have it for up on their website but you look on eBay for the French Connection Blu-ray 100 to 150 dollars yeah uh, and it, even someone selling a UK one for 50 quid so uh, I managed to pick that up for £12.99. So uh, yeah, at least this is going to have the um, whatever dialogue still intact. So let's undo it. Yeah, these are two films that I've actually never seen. Uh, but I've heard the second one is not as good as the first one. There we go. Spine, and there's the back, all the information on there. And two discs. Oh no, three discs actually. 
so we have the French Connection Special Edition and then we have disc two on the Blu-ray and then we have the French Connection 2. So I take it one disc is probably all the bonus features maybe. Uh, probably the special features, although why would they put the special features on a separate disc? Because uh, the, the amount, same amount of special features are actually on the second film as well. Don't know, I'll have to try that. But anyway, there we go, that is for French Connection. One and two. So if you want it on physical, I'd grab it now. Grab it while you can. Okay, and uh, down to the last two. Of course, today is John Wick Day. And um, it took me ages to try and decide what to get. Uh, and I was mulling over them off. I went for this one, the still book, with the, um, the plastic removable slip cover. Yeah, like the Mondo ones. So yeah, I went for this one. Um, I'm going to do a separate unboxing for this one in a different video, so look out for that. Uh, and uh, I also went for the Cine edition as well. Uh, the oh, Sorry, the first edition, not the Cine edition. So this looks good. Uh, it comes with books and postcards and things like that. So there'll be a special unboxing for this one as well. Fantastic. So there we go. So that is today's pickups and deliveries. Really happy with what's come out today and what's been delivered. Everything's been delivered on time. So we have the first edition for, from HMV. Uh, then we have the 4K steelbook for John Wick. We have French Connection 1 and 2. We have lots of plastic wrap, including Champions. More plastic wrap. We have the Awakening plus Kin, even more plastic wrap, and uh, San Francisco Mega Quake, even more plastic wrap, and the latest issue of Empire Magazine with, with lots of embossing and spot gloss and <laughs> fantastic. So there we go. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Uh, like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share, and I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye bye.